Hey guys, Shinlox here, back with a new blind playthrough. This is Castle in the Darkness. Now, this was released back in 2015. Um, it's a Metroidvania, like an old, well, debatably. It's an old school Metroidvania with, uh, it's like a really retro style game, like really old school NES hard, supposedly. Uh, it's about $10. It was published by ne Nicholas, which, I mean, they've kind of had a lot of games under their umbrella recently. So they have, uh, I guess, the most recent Binding of Isaac stuff, and um, but also like Cave Story. Maybe... Maybe La Mulana as well. I don't quite remember, but uh, this is $10. Uh, one of the artists that worked on Binding of Isaac, uh, Rebirth, I think, is the developer for this, Matt Cap. So who knows? Who knows? I'm, I've been told this is very hard and also good. So we'll see. We'll <laughs> we shall see. All right, let's play the game. Um, strangely enough, even though it hasn't saved any data, it saves the number of deaths that you have. Uh, cause I, I did some testing and, um, the deaths, there's like six digits to the death counter. So potentially you could die up to a million times or at least 999,999 before it maxes out. So it's going to be hard. All right, Kingdom of Alexandria. One dark and gloomy night, King Elmore II grew ill. Worry about her father, Princess Isabel had the royal guard ready to protect the castle. The guards, not expecting anything more than a common illness, took their positions. When suddenly... Armies of monsters attacked the castle. The Royal Guard tried to fight, but they were all defeated by the monsters. All but one. Which is us. Now it's weird, the sound... Immediately when I was doing my testing and stuff, the sound... Also, we, we can't pause, so there's that. The, um... The sound is, uh uneven. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's... The sound of the game is controlled by uh, the options menu where it's uh, music and sound. Strangely enough, those both started at zero for whatever reason. The default was set to mute, basically. But the title screen is louder than those. So even when I look at the levels here, the title screen, I normally try and adjust it so it's in the it's in the orange or, or right at the borderline between the, the green and the orange. Whereas my voice, I try and adjust it so it's higher. Um, but this, like the title screen is way louder than this music. So it kind of throws everything off. But all right, I've gotten basically to the first save point, which is a couple screens away. All right, and if you save him, he gives you money. If you don't save him, he becomes another zombie. So as far as I know, this is our attack. Just stabbing with your your sword. But apparently there's over a hundred weapons or something. In the in the description for this, it's like there's a hundred weapons you can collect. There's 50 bosses to fight. Uh, it's full of secrets. Wait, did the music just do a hard reset? That's not that's not good. And apparently we're getting money. But it also looks like you can go back and forth between screens. So we're going to use this for something. I just really hope it's... I just really hope there's no grinding. Alright. So you can enter doors, which is nice. Our jump, we can jump. The city has been overrun by monsters. And just is possible to climb, climb some roofs. Alright, so in the little trailer, or the video showing this. It showed like a, a double jump or a wall jump or something. I could jump up onto here, but I can't get up there yet. I wonder if we'll get a map. Uh, 
All right, so monsters, monsters everywhere. And right, that, that breaks. And if you fall, you're screwed, presumably. So in my testing, uh, you take about, right now, I take about 60% of my health as damage from a single hit. So you basically get one hit and that's all. Uh, let's save. And I guess... Cool. Alright. Some enemy bullets can be hit back at them. Don't forget. Yeah, that's... I'm probably gonna forget that. Actually, this is as far as I've gotten. Uh, so yeah, we gotta fall and... Uh-oh. Oh, weird. Okay, what is this guy gonna do? Oh, that explains why you could... Okay, that, yeah. Oh, ouch. At least it's starting me off easy-ish. And it looks like the money disappears after a while, too, so... Boss Heart, HP up. Achievement unlocked level 1 Slayer. So we got one extra little hit point? Is that what happened? Also, for some reason, that dude reminds me of... Is it the Evil Eye from Final Fantasy 1? Oh, excellent. Well... Right, see, HP 5. Wait. So it must have been 4 earlier, but I didn't necessarily notice a, um, a change in our bar. I wasn't looking, though. Attack and defense are both one. Ah, the guard sword. The world's worst sword. Okay. Equipped. Oh. That's back? Guard armor worth ten coins. Hey, times are tough. Magic. Items. And relics. All right. I see that exploding block. Hold jump when landing on breaking blocks to bounce higher. Okay, otherwise you probably just bounce a little bit. Like you have to anticipate that it's gonna break. Otherwise you bounce. It just bounces you straight regardless, but you probably need to do that. Otherwise you die. All right, well. Oh, see, that's a little disconcerting. The the quick up and down motion, like, if you're motion sick easily, this is probably not super great. Oh, is that what you do? Aside from taking a lot of damage. Oh, and that was a one-way door. I see. Oh! Okay, well. So now we know. Now we know that that is a exploding block as well. All right, skeleton. I'm gonna take the money though. All right, so, all right. Yep. What I wanna do is test this. Right, so. Just running forward, you do, I don't know. It's like, like you land about here. And I would assume the crystal heals us as well, right? So... Okay, so we actually went to about here before we fell. And yeah, I'm collecting the coins, but it doesn't matter so much. 
can I stay on the ground or do I have to land on it while holding the jump button? Oh, yeah, you can just you can just hold the jump. Right, like so you jump up here and I just don't let go of the jump button and then I run and it launches me a little farther, so that's good. Oh, uh, or you could just screw yourself that way. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I need to find out if... If those healing things... Uh, what's the word? Sorry, if the save crystals heal us as well. I need to know these things. It is important. Oh, well, now's the perfect chance to find out. Not in the way I intended, but... Oh, yeah, just, just getting near it. Alright, cool. I have to keep looking at not only the time now, but the... Um... Lately, it's been doing this thing where it'll... OBS, I mean, the recording software I use. It's been doing this thing where uh, it won't... It'll just stop recording the video. It'll display in my little preview window. It'll display... You, you think it's displaying what is recording. No, it doesn't. It's just displaying whatever's on the monitor. Or... You know, it's just displaying whatever it wants to display, basically, but but not what it's actually recording. So, like now, I'm, I'm seeing it move and stuff, uh, but there's been times where it's... I assume it's recording, I don't know. There's been times when it hasn't been. It just, like, had a freeze frame of the video and just... And I did, like, the whole video, the whole hour, and I'm just like, are you, are you kidding me? Um... But lately, it's been doing this thing where it'll cut the sound out, too. So the video will go, but all of a sudden the sound will just stop recording. And I'm like, so I don't know what the hell's going on. It's the weirdest thing, too, because, like... Admittedly, I haven't kept it up to date, but I haven't had these problems before, you know? I don't know. Anyway. Right, so let's not get hit. You have a big mouth. Alright. Is this the girl I rescued? Some cracked blocks can only be broken while holding the Ares gauntlet. Huh. Oh, pots. Awesome. Yeah, because I've seen some cracked blocks. Uh, is this chicken... Is a chicken hurt me? No. Like this, you mean. Uh-oh. Does it hurt me now? No. Alright, well, I... Is it back to normal? Yeah. Part of me wants to keep attacking it to see what happens. Okay, nothing. Thankfully. Well, nothing you know of. Hey, buddy! Oh, snap! Whoa! How about no? So I can maybe... Wait. What the hell happened there? That's so weird. It started me off higher. Is this a... Oh, you can enter that? In. Um... I gotta be honest. The layout is really confusing. Let's talk to her. Some bosses have a weak spot, like their eyes or heads. I don't really care for how it just like falls. Like like the screen is set up there. You know, you go here and 
it's just it's super disorienting. All right, this is the inn. Would you like to buy wrong sword for a hundred? Um, is it better than the apparently the worst sword that I've got? What is this? Oh god. Oh wait, what does wrong sword do? You know what I mean? Is it like it attacks up or behind me or something? We'll we'll find out in a second. Oh, well, yep, that hurt. What are we doing on? Oh, wait, where are you going? Okay. Well, that's... Oh, there you go. All right. Still... Uh, sure. Thanks, don't forget to equip it as a save point. Achievement unlocked, level one treasure hunter. Yeah, let's, let's see what it is. All right, weapon. Uh, right or wrong, it's still an improvement. Oh, but it doesn't say... Huh. It, maybe it's just a little bigger? Oh, I didn't equip it. Hang on. Attack one. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's fine. It's a little bit longer. That works. All right. Um, uh, I mean, I, I presume we're supposed to go in here, right? I can't jump up here. Wait. I thought this was like a dungeon or a castle or something. Oh. Okay, in costs 10 per night. Stay. Why would you stay? Can't even get to the third floor. Let's try staying, I guess. I don't know what it does, but see, this is kind of what I meant about the design, right? Like, it's not just the fact that the screen shifts in a weird way. The inn. We we came this way, and I was like, oh, sign on the inn. Well, that's the inn. That doesn't make sense because that's clearly a dungeon. Or enemy castle or something like that, right? But then you then you go in here, and it's like, oh, this is inside. I'm like, oh, this must have been the inn. Weird that an inn sells you weapons, but whatever. But no, this is actually the inn, which is, again, confusing. Where... Oh. Well, that counted. All right, let's see what it does. Okay. The third floor. What's on the third floor? How did I even get here? when I can't get up there normally. All right, well, it heals you, which is good. So we're, there's probably gonna be places where you can just heal, but not equip or save. Right, Manny? Something to consider. Also, no map as far as I'm aware. Not yet, at least. A little bit longer, that's good. Watch out for spikes. You think they're instant kill? Ah. So I'm trying to... Wait, what? What? Oh, really? 
Weak point meaning you can only hit them in the head. Got a key. Is this guy gonna come back? See, that's a little more challenging. Going back because you gotta, you know, you can't wait for the bird. You have to go. All right, dude's dead, so that's cool. Um, how do I use it, up or down? Oh, just attack. Museum. Is that an enemy? This is not an enemy? I see a skeleton with a shotgun. Enter. Oh, crap. I didn't realize this was gonna... Oh, you can attack through walls. That's good. What is this? The Ares Gauntlet and Vigo. This is trap. Oh, and a secret. 50 coins. He's Vigo. You're like the buzzing of flies to him. Well, let's see if we can equip it, I guess. I was, for a second, I was like, please don't fall through the spikes. Ow. All right, um. Items, so, okay. Allows you to break certain blocks. I... Oh, okay. It must always be on. So the third slot under the armor there must be an item, or actually probably a magic... Probably magic. Well then, let's run back to the chicken lady. I think it's, I think it was here, right? Yes. Fifty coins, that's good. See, there's blocks up there, though. Right? Oh ho! Oh ho! Interesting that the treasure gives you 10. Well then. Weren't there more? Didn't I see other secrets at the... Let's run, let's run back to the beginning. Come this way, frog. I need your money. I need it. I'm a, I'm a poor hungry orphan. Whoa, that could have been bad. All right, this... That silly thing. Right, I could have sworn there were... Well, there's that, obviously, but... My little feet, my little tappy feet as they move. Um, let's run all the way back. Right, I can't... See... All right, so there are crack blocks, like there's one under us, kind of, right there. But I can't do anything with those, and I can't, as far as I know, I can't pogo on dudes. I don't really want to try, if I'm being honest. Oh, we, uh... The city's been overrun by monsters, I know. I still can't get up there. You can climb on some roofs. Wait. Like this one? Right, that's that's weird, isn't it? But not this roof. 
Not that one either. That's a little... I mean, you know. Yeah, let's go down here. Any cracked blocks I can see? No. Not immediately. What was that? That always makes me super nervous. Alright. Did it always take two or three? Hmm. Alright. Alright, frog. Yeah, it's so weird. I still. Oh, I guess it did. I for some reason I was thinking it took two before, but. Alright, so that's the inn, which. You know. Alright, we'll save here. Right, the the weak spot, or Yeah, the weak spot. That's kind of annoying. It means you have to strike him in the head. Alright, so we got the Ares gauntlet there. What? References. Got it. Do not enter sewer. Do not enter sewer pipes. Latov. Oh, you actually can't. That's interesting. There's a lip. Okay, well, I don't know who Latov is. I don't. I mean, you know. Whoa. Oh, oh, jeez. Um. Oh, oh, jeez, that's so awkward. Don't shoot me. Oh, God. I need to run back to heal. Oh, buddy. We're just going. <laughs> All right. I... Like, I... I mean, I appreciate the references sometimes, but... I don't know why the pipe one took me out of it. Alright, which, which way do we go? Wow, that dude... Man, he could shoot. Oh, come on. Well, and I think they did say he was the graphic designer, not the level designer. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow, you. That was... That's a dick move. Locked by museum key. Yeah, I should have known. Right. See, look at that. Six digits. For the number of times you could die, but, um... Now, what does retry do? Or where? From your last save, or the last time you... ...healed, or... or what? I don't know, but every time you hit that, you better save. All right, so museum key is up there, or you need the museum key. We've already been in there. <laughs> yeah, that's a little... All right, don't enter the pipes. I didn't push down, I just... I don't remember that happening before. 
Oh, right. So it is. Well, it doesn't keep your money, so you gotta either make sure you presumably save. So... I don't... Do not enter sewer pipes. How did I... Did I even go past? I'm not gonna hold down, I'm just gonna walk across. I walked from... Maybe you have to do it fast? Maybe there's like a little gap? And if you do it fast, it won't hurt you, but... It's very strange. But then again, I mean, it... It would, it would make sense for it to not... Um, I mean, it's, it's a hole, right? It makes sense for it to... Like, if you walked across it, for you to fall through, it's like walking across a hole. You're actually fairly wise, Latav. Alright. Well... Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, but he still is a hitbox. Boss heart, HP up. Maybe it doesn't show up there. Well then, what's the point of... Hmm. Always save. Uh, equip. So, HP 6. So... When we went from four to five. So we started with four. Maybe each enemy hits you for three? I don't know. Castlevania reference, of course. See, I don't like that. I don't like how it goes. It starts at the top and goes down. It's very disconcerting. Yep. Oh. Well. Yep. Okay. Oh, you can push that. You can push crates by hitting them with your sword. Try it. Wow. It's really hard to tell what way it's going, though. Wow, and these things are, like, super fast. And Medusa heads. And... Well, I can't even... Okay, so, I mean, there's the switch right there, but what... There's a door. Oh. Which way does this go? Okay, it goes to the left. I can stand on the edge. Very strange. Loading. Man, there's all these places I can't jump to. And that... 
which way is this gonna kill me? Well, all right. Oh, look at these guys. Fair enough. See, I figured it was going to the right, but no. A key. Of course. Yeah, not... Oh, clock tower. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, all right. Now you know spikes are instant death, so that's, you know, good learning experience right there. No key. No key. Ooh, that dude's tough. Oh, ouch. And you're, yeah, it's like... Your uh, invincibility frames? Like a second. Yeah, the, the difficulty is starting to come into play here. Yeesh. And a mouse, which... At least you could hit it in one. What's this stone discolored for? Alright. Did he run away? Okay, now I have to survive getting back, presumably. Oh, it's still part of the same level or screen. Is this part of the same screen? Please tell me there's a save or something beyond the door. Oh, there is. Is this the one I saved earlier? They all look the same. I'm sure that's deliberate. Some paintings can hint at secrets. Fair enough. Where am I? Um. Wow, so it's like that, is it? And this is the boss. Ow. Oh god. Ooh, hey, alright. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, wait, wait. Even like prologue in the secrets menu. Achievement locks level one undead. Unlocks prologue in the secrets menu. From dying ten times? To be fair, two of those times wasn't even... I mean, it was deliberate. It was part of the... While I was testing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that... Okay. I was hoping he was gonna jump over me. I... You know, like that was... Like that was the pattern. Some paintings can hint at secrets. Well... Jeez. Yeah, I'm basically screwed. That 
that's it's tough because yeah the, the floor is uneven and so it's like he turns around or maybe he's not gonna hit that thing ah uh, no 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 oh, my character wasn't turning properly I'm still using this controller with the less functional d-pad so that, you know, makes it a little bit more challenging, I suppose. Because maybe they don't always... Maybe he's not always going to turn around properly. Alright, explode, you big-headed mf -er. Boss heart HP up. Yeah, see, the money doesn't stay around for very long. Um... Dude. I was hoping there would be a save point on the other side, but no. Oh, okay, well. <sighs> well. So what, HP is six now? Seven? Doesn't seem like it matters a whole lot, because I still can't take three hits. How are we doing on time? Sound is allegedly still working. Video is allegedly still working. Enter in a minute. We got. Oh, they explode if you go underneath them. Well, how do I? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Huh. I don't know what the switch is for. There was, there was, remember, there was still like the clock tower with the other... There was that other switch in the clock tower somewhere. Are you a monster? There used to be a mine east of here, but the lizardmen took it over. That's a big treasure chest. How do I get that? All right. My name is Lonzo. I built the clock tower. Take this key. I no longer need it. Oh. Clock tower key. So I got to go back to the clock tower now. Maybe that's what up was. Do I? So. Yeah, I'm a little confused. So east of here, there was a mine. Can't get up there. What's up, dude? Or is there a mine? Like this goes to the mine, or or, or what? Ah. The switches are only. You, you hit them once, and they lock in place, I guess? This one's not on, is it? Warp points like this can be used to travel, but I don't know how. It's a warp point. It's not... Ah, crap! I didn't think of... I didn't think about the enemies respawning. Yeah, I'm super screwed unless I can figure out where I need to go back to. This game is really, like... This is why you need a map. I'm the hundred-year-old man. Right on. Oh! 
All right, well, let's see if we can, if there's a regular save point near her. Not really. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally screwed. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Thanks, dude. Blink. Still, he didn't have to give me anything, so that's fine. Okay. I'm just like, where am I? You know, like the map confusing is, or the map is totally, totally confusing, like. Um. Also, I'm not, I'm just keep, you know, I'm just still going to the right. Oh, the paintings have crap boxers on them. And punch. Oh gosh. I'm waiting for my daughter Sophia. I'm worried about her. Is that a reference to something? Okay. Save crystal, I guess. I guess I'll save. I'm just really confused about the layout. Like, there doesn't... There doesn't seem to be one. If that makes any sense. Ow. Dick. <laughs> what is this layout? Holy crap. It's supposed to be Arthur? Yeah, that makes sense, actually. I... Uh-huh. Is he a boss? I'm the great mage Marcel. If you plan on going to the old castle, you will need the power of magic. Please accept this gift. All right. You got magic, fireball. How does this work? Does it consume your life? Well, I can't equip it though, not yet. Hold the attack button until the charge is complete, then release. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's the Mega Buster. Cat hair in my mouth. All right, well, um... Oh, great. Oh, it's got a uh, range. Oh, I see. And it always falls where you are. Dude, can I... Oh, that's awesome. Iron, yeah, don't touch the sword. Alright, um... I gotta be honest, I... I don't know if I'm really having fun. That seems weird. But it's like... If this indeed was designed by the artist, not by like a level designer. If you were to tell me that, I, I would believe it. Because it's like, none of this makes sense. You know, I'm going through... I'm going through this area and then I you know, change screens and all of a sudden I'm inside, then I go outside and it's like, where, where, I'm trying to like, cause it's like, oh, there's secrets everywhere and there's locked doors that I know I'm gonna have to get back to. And it's like, I don't, there's no, 
I can't mentally map where the hell that I am. So it's really difficult for me to, because I, I feel confusion. Mm, excuse me. Confusion more than anything. I'm just like, where, where am I? At least with, say, the original Metroid or something, right? That was hard, too, because all the levels look the same, you know, but they had color schemes and, you know, you could kind of draw your own maps and there's a lot of Metroid, the original, was mostly either vertical or horizontal corridors, right? And yes, like Brinstar or where, what was the starting area? Was that Brinstar? Uh, that was, it was all blue for the most part. And so that was a little confusing. You're like, oh, I'm in a vertical corridor. But, you know, if you actually, the layout was still fairly simple and you could draw a map and be like, okay, here it's like you're going in indoors, out of doors. It's, it doesn't, I, I'm just like, where, where am I? Keep going to the right. Okay, I guess, you know, and so I'm just like, it feels like an artist made this you know it's like they're like oh i'm gonna make this and i'm gonna make the levels look like this so it's so it's interesting looking and it's like it, it can be interesting but it's not it's like it's kind of functional but if it's supposed to be like I don't know. If you're expecting me to remember where the hell I am, it's that's not going to be great. So we'll just stop here. Um, I don't know where retry puts me before the magic dude. And then, and yeah, I'm just like, I'm just kind of like, eh. Like, man, I, I don't know. I don't know. This could be a rough one. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Uh, you know, as always, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or different, let me hear them. I do read all of them. I do. Well, I, I, I try to. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, if, you, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. One thing I do like to do at the end of every episode is a unique positive moment, which is... Um, it's just everything's so negative these days, and it's a way to reframe your mind so that it's more neutral. Because the more negative stuff we take in, the more we start to perceive things as negative. So, um, you know, you're supposed to do like three unique positive moments per day. You're supposed to write them down right before you go to bed, and that's supposed to train you to constantly be on the lookout for things you could write down, basically. So it's like, this coffee I'm drinking, this is like roasted by me, ground by me. I didn't grow it. I, <laughs> I bought the beans green and then uh, roasted them and ground them myself. Uh, but it's, it's really good. It's really earthy. And so I'm going to use that. But that would be one, right? So you're supposed to do two more. And then you're like, um, I got the coffee. I got uh, this and that. And it's supposed to train you over time to seek out positive stuff. And it actually does work. Um, I don't. I don't really do it. I do it for the channel, but not the way it's supposed to be done in real life. So um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's this, the coffee, like I said. Um, hopefully your guys is just good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys. Did I say I hope to see you guys next time? I think I did. If not, I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys. Take care. <laughs>